Yeah. Now, Nürburgring, where do you think it is? Oh, that's in uh, Germany. Uh, good. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Gotta get a gold star. Yep. You got an A+, plus, 100%. All right. All right. All right. With the smiley face on it. Sweet. <laughs> I love smiley faces. The next race yeah. on the calendar. What I was nice going to talk about I, I was going to talk about all those games that me and Alicia have been playing, but I just, I don't know. Yeah, tell, tell me about them. What's, a, what's the one y'all been playing the most? Um, well, we uh, had we were playing Epic Mickey 2. We were playing the crap out of it, but it was really confusing. And we were missing a lot of things, so we had to buy the strategy guide. And then we started it all over, so we wouldn't... Because we we'd apparently missed, like, a dozen things already, just in a couple of hours we played. And there's, there's so much hidden stuff, it's so fun. And I have a blast. I, a lot of times... The two player is not so great. Um, for one, the two player in Epic Mickey 2, it splits the screen. Right. And we don't like, I don't really care much for split screens. You don't know what the hell's going on, you know? But then after that, like the second player character, his name is Oswald, and he doesn't get to do very much. So, like, whenever there's a mission that needs to do, like if I walk into the room and talk to the guy, it won't activate the mission. Mickey has to come in and talk to the person. So, the second player doesn't really get to do anything. So, a lot of times I just sit there and read the strategy guide for her. And help her out, and then sometimes when the when the um, computer controlled Oswald is being stupid, I'll jump in and take over and help out, and then I'll just kind of leave again. Oh, it's really okay. easy. It's real. It's really easy to just jump in and help, and then jump back out. So most cool. of it's just one player and me helping and telling her what to where to go and what to jump on and what to paint, and it's real fun because you it's got the it's this crazy world, man. You can interact with almost anything, and then like you have a paintbrush. It's magical, and you can either paint stuff. Or you can use paint thinner and dissolve things, and you can like dissolve walls, and the floor, just you can go anywhere. It's nuts, man. It's really I, we're having a blast, and Disney did a really good job, and the graphics are great, and I like it. I like watching it, and I like playing it. So yeah, it does. It does look really fun. I know I, I saw it there for a little while. And it seemed uh, you had some pretty neat tasks, you know, and stuff. And yeah. Some cool puzzles that you can figure out. A lot of seems like a really good quest. And the graphics yeah, really, are really good. Yep, and it's since there's so much to do, each one takes a while, you know. Like you, well, I'm pretty sure we're we'll playing it for. I don't know. We'll play, we'll play it for a long time. Yeah. We and I like how uh, I like how another player can just jump in at any time, but don't have yeah. to play. You know, kind of like yeah. uh, that reminds me of Sonic 2, where uh, oh, yeah. where if you play one player as Sonic or whatever, another player can jump in and kind of play Tails. That's you know, cool. And kind of help. I don't yeah. know. That's an old reference, but oh yeah, I got it. Yeah, yep. I like that. I like that kind of gameplay where you're not like committed to it. Like you don't have to play the whole mission before you can jump out. You know, you can just like I can like throw her up in the air or put her on a ledge where she needs to be and then leave. You know, exactly. I don't have. I don't. I don't have to play the whole thing. And then sometimes she gives me the controller and she'll read the book and I'll play and we just kind of, you know, we love each other so we let each other take turns. Sharing is caring, and so <laughs> that's what matters. And then she beat Spyro 120 percent. Oh, really? She beat which she, one? The first one. She beat the crap out of it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think a lot of her, the main thing was the nostalgia, replaying it again, because she played it when she was a kid, exactly. so it was fun for her, you know. Oh, just damn. doing it that way. Oh, excuse my language. I just oh, it's all right. hit that wall and ruined my steering. Now I had to pee it. <laughs> yeah, you're hanging out with me. Hanging out with me too much and use bad words. Bad driving. Yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Spyro, we were playing that Spyro Skylanders on Xbox too. It's the one you put that little. I don't know if you've seen it. It's a portal that you plug into your Xbox in the USB port, and then you put the little action figure dudes on the portal, and then each dude that you put in um, has different powers. And so, if the person, if the if the figurine's not on the portal, you can't use the character. It doesn't unlock them for good. You have to just each time you want to use one of them, you have to put them on. And so, like. Certain places can only be accessed by certain sky Skylanders, so you want to put the Skylander that you need on the portal, and I like that game a lot. It's pretty fun. All right, that does seem pretty fun. That was the other one you it, was telling me about, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it also it also has the jump in and jump out feature. Like, I can just quit whenever I need to. Like, if I need to go cook or if she needs to go cook, she can just pick off. She can just take her Skylander and take him off the portal, and then I can just play while she's doing whatever she's doing, and then she can just come back and set him back on when she gets back, and... I like games kind of, like that. Um, yeah, that's really, you, that's really good. 
kind of like Donkey Kong 64. You know, each uh, each character has its own special abilities, but yeah. you have to use all the characters in order to progress. Yep, yep. That's really and then that's yeah. really neat. I like it a lot. And then it's, I think it's much more directed towards kids. You know, the game. And a lot of kids just have ADD, so they're like, I don't want to be Spyro anymore, so they'll take Spyro off and put on another character, and they just want to be more than one thing, you know? Exactly. So, That's so right. So it, it's, re yeah, it's really targeted at kids really well. They did a really good job with it, and the gameplay is it's really good. And some of the characters, the, the, I don't know, the dialogue is miserable. It's just, uh, it's like totally, you can totally tell that they directed it at kids, as I've said. And Yeah, and they, they, they didn't put much uh, effort into making yeah. it. Yeah, it's real. Yeah, they just the people that talk. You're just like, shut up, talking. <laughs> it's kind of yeah. I, yeah, yeah, I just want to play the game. Yep. And then a lot of the missions, all the worlds are very similar. Like you just kind of run from one end to the other. And, you know, you have to like solve little puzzles. And I mean, it's not challenging in any way, but it is really fun. And the fact that there are 32 Skylanders, and each one you can level up to like level 10. So you can level. You can be. You can play that game forever, over and over and over. And then like. Um, each Skylander that you put on there unlocks a different like challenge, and on the in the in the main lobby part you can do you can like use any Skylander to solve any other Skylander's um, challenge. So if the, essentially you can solve all 32 challenges 32 times. Oh, so there's that yeah on top of all the worlds that there are to do. So hmm. and the and the challenges just boost your stats. Like say if you beat this one you'll get like plus four armor or something. So you can make all your you can make all your characters stronger than the actual level progressions allow them to be. So it's really, I mean, I, I, man, you can play that game forever. I mean, but uh, the only thing is, is that the Skylanders, each one costs money. You have to buy the little dude. But my friend from Hawaii actually owns them all. He already bought them all. So he's going to mail us his, and then we're just going to play it and beat it, and then mail him back his toys. Oh, okay. So we, that way we can just save a bunch of money. Yeah. So that's pretty fun, and um, I got a new game on my DS, my Nintendo DS. Okay, you still play that? Yeah, man, I play. I'm a handheld gamer. It's like there, if I if there's anything I really want to play, like when I'm thinking about playing a video game, it's usually on my Game Boy or it's on my, you know, it's on something else. I'm just, I like I'm a handheld gamer. I don't I like I like the portability of the handheld gaming. Okay. You know? That's just something that I really enjoy to do. Yeah, that's and, true. Uh, they are very portable. You can carry them anywhere, play it in the car while someone's driving. And, I mean, yep. Just... Play them on a plane. Yeah. I mean, whenever, you know. And then you can just, a lot of the handheld games, the save functions are really easy. You just, like, hit start, save, and you turn it off, you know. That's just most of the way. Because some games that you're playing, like, on PSP or, P, or not PSP, PS1 or PS2, you know, you have to, like, get to a save point or you have to get somewhere. Exactly. A lot of times... A lot of handheld games, you just start, save, and turn them just off. Save it right go. where it is, and don't have to yep. wait. And, yep. And the DS has a really cool feature, like it does. You can just like close it, and it will. It won't save your game, but it'll like when you open it again, it'll just kind of like it'll like go to sleep. Oh. And then you turn you turn it back on, and then so things like so like the DS is really cool, but I think it still uses battery when you do that, but not a lot. I don't know. I don't. I don't do it a lot. I don't. I, I usually just play it while it's plugged in. I plug it into the wall, right. and then whenever I need, whenever I need to go, I'll unplug it. That way, the battery won't die while I'm out moving around. 